Hello, this is Business Unscripted with Shay Spitz, and I am here with Marie Copples uh, with Arbon. It is not Arbonne. <laughs> Apparently, it's Arbon. Right, yeah. I support it, love it. I've just been saying it wrong this whole time. So, no um, yeah, so thank you for being here. We actually like that because it means it's not that well known, right? So it's one yes. of those things that's something different for people to, mm -hmm. to understand. So I appreciate mm -hmm. being on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about, I guess, what got you started with Arbon? Yeah, that's a great question. So I was washing my face and, um, you know, every day like everybody else does. And somebody called and asked me to try some different products. And I was kind of annoyed. I was like holding, this is back when the phone, you know, somebody called me and I was <laughs> holding the phone away from my ear going, oh my goodness, what are you, you know, what do you want me to do? What are you trying to get me into? Ugh. But I really like this gal. So I said, yeah, yeah, I'll try some things. I thought I was going to have to clean my house or do something like that. She just dropped some products off and I got to try them uh, in my own home. And I tried them for two or three days and I just absolutely loved them. It was skincare at the time. Uh -huh. Um, I thought what I was using was really good and there's a lot of great stuff out there, but I thought mm -hmm. this worked for me. So, and mm -hmm. it made sense. And so I loved her approach and she came back and I said, well, yeah, I, I definitely want to um, order some of these cause it was just a sample. And so I really wanted to keep the bag she gave me, but she <laughs> said I couldn't. So, um, she said, well, you can order them and become a, a client, go online and order. And I said, yeah, that sounds great. She said, well, if you, you know, spend $49, you can start a business doing that, um, selling products and, you know, using them and selling them. And I said, and I thought about it for like 10 minutes. I yeah. really have always wanted my own business and uh -huh. $49 seemed like a, a bargain. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I can, anything I put my mind to, I can do. So mm -hmm. at, with an engineering background, I, you know, I just really thought this would be a good um, addition to my, you know, day job income. And so yep. took off with it and it's been going ever since. I was, um, my son was a baby, just okay. um, a few weeks old when I started. So I've been doing this 16 years now. So. Nice. Yep, wow. So it's been around for a while then. Yeah. Arbonne's actually 41 years old. Really? Yep. Wow. Based in Switzerland, but um, all our products are made in the United States. And okay. Shipped right to people's doors. So that was, you know, a few things she said to me were really interesting. Didn't have to do deliveries. I didn't yeah. have to hold any inventory, right? And back yeah. 16 years ago, that was a little different. Yeah. Um, some companies use an inventory model, which is fine, but mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, if I wouldn't know what color eyeshadow you want or what mm -hmm. skincare, there's a lot of different needs in skincare. So mm -hmm. um, being flexible um, with shipping now, you know, everybody's used to kind of a Amazon model, which comes yes. in a few days and that's exciting. So yeah, that worked for me. Um, I also loved her approach. Try it, mm -hmm. take a look at it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing this a long time now and people tell me, no, I know that's usually K-N-O-W, right? Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Like, it's okay. <laughs> uh, and it's not for everybody. Uh, in the last um, probably 10 years, we've gotten in more nutrition. So we yeah. do have an old drink there. But I am. So um, thank you for that. I think that. you and I got introduced <laughs> through a church, but then um, yeah. like you participated in a sample Saturday, I call yeah. it, which yeah. can happen any day of the week, really, but yeah. where I just mix up either a fizz drink or a shake and mm -hmm. um, bring it to people and it just adds some value to their day. And yeah. I feel like people, if you take care of yourself, you'll be the best version of yourself. Absolutely. So if you're using good products, whatever those are, mm -hmm. you're going to be the best you and then whatever you want to go do with that, which you have plenty of energy. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that wasn't the issue, <laughs> but um, I think energy comes from being excited about things too. Yeah. And that's what our passion for always it. provided mm -hmm. for me was something exciting to do on my own. It was my mm -hmm. own and led me into other things, businesses and things we, I do. So again, I always tell people a social network marketing business, you know, low startup, but all, we need your, um, there's a lot of sweat equity. Yes. You have to learn, you have to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first started, my first paycheck was one number. It was no multiples. <laughs> um, so, and, and, but that's okay. Cause I wasn't very good at it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. in, in all businesses, you have to start somewhere Yes, with a $49 investment and then starting investing in myself, starting growing, yeah. talking to people, getting more comfortable with that. And yeah. Um, yeah. Using social media, the, all the, you know, as business changes, I know mm -hmm. you've talked on some of your podcasts is when COVID hit, you know, how do people, you have to change with the times yeah. and you got to figure out where people are at. And a lot of people like the one-on-one -on -one contact. Some mm -hmm. people like groups and some people like mm -hmm. social media. So mm -hmm. we, we serve all those needs. Yeah. People. Well, in addition to every aspect of life, because kind of going back to like your inner self. So, I mean, your inner self reflects your outer world. Absolutely. So, or your inner world, it reflects your outer world. And like, if you're healthy on the inside, I mean, it really does stem from your inner world, your health, your gut, and then as a reflection of the exterior. So obviously you guys have um, like facial right. cleansing and then you also have makeup, I mean, yeah. hair products. And for life. a woman, it's nice to have a one-stop shop, Absolutely. you know, rather than trying to go every which direction. Right. And we always say pure, safe, and beneficial. I always tell people you're going to drink something, put something on you, it should be benefiting you. Mm -hmm. Even makeup should not just be for fun. Mm -hmm. It should be anti-aging. 
Mm -hmm. It honestly should be. So if you're going to drink something, it should be good for you. You know, I always tell people 70% of how you look is what you consume mm -hmm. and absorb, right? So oh, we're really it. big in nutrition and what you absorb. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's difficult to eat right all the time. So I always tell people, mm -hmm. even if you're having that, just that's your only thing you're doing with Arbon today. Mm -hmm. You're doing a good thing to your, for your body, which helps yeah. your whole day. Just mm -hmm. I'm doing one thing because one thing I like to tell people is that you cannot help other people. You have to put your oxygen mask on first. Mm -hmm. That's what they always say on an airplane. Yeah. Put yeah. your oxygen mask on before you help yeah. others, right? Yeah. And a lot of women forget that, yeah. and too, but they forget like you're not going to be able to help anybody on an empty tank of gas. So no. You have to put your oxygen mask no. on first. So you can preach, 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 but unless you start doing it yourself, you're really not going to make an impact on anybody else. So right. people have to see you preaching what you're yeah. or doing what you're you preach. Absolutely. You know. Um, yeah. and it makes a big difference. It's a huge advantage for someone's busy that we all are, but mm -hmm. I use the products because I yeah. sell them. So yeah. There's no getting up and not putting on my night cream at night. I'm not ever, you know, you can't yeah. be tired for that. Exactly. You take care of yourself in the morning. You you have to make those commitments, mm -hmm. whatever that is for you. So yeah. And why, and that's why it's so important. Like when somebody's going out on their own or starting their own business is that you have to have a passion for what you Absolutely. love. And I've been approached by many people about doing distribution, distributing this and stuff. But if I don't have a passion for it, it's just, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to benefit me. It's not going to benefit my clients. And it's not going to benefit the person who got me involved into it because I have to have the passion. I remember like it works back when that was a thing. I, I don't know if it still yep. is, yep. but I, I did kind of get into it, but I just did not have a passion for it. And it was honestly just kind of a waste of money for me and waste of time. And I didn't truly believe in the product. So how do you, tr how do you sell something if you don't believe in it? You, you can't. You know, yeah. you can't, and, and you can't for, a, you can't sustain it anyway. Right. That so. also goes for yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't sell yourself if you don't believe in yourself either, yeah. right? That's exactly mm -hmm. what you're talking about. So mm -hmm. I do think that a lot of people, um, you know, there's a, sometimes a stigma around the social networking marketing businesses because, you you know, you do have to go talk to people. It's very, you're very vulnerable. It's not like you're walking in an aisle of Hy-Vee and you walk by something and you don't buy it. Yeah. Those people that sell that product don't, you know, fold up and go home because you didn't buy that that day. Mm -hmm. But it becomes more personal in, in a social networking mm -hmm. business because if you tell me no, mm -hmm. you're, you know, you have to learn how to separate, you know, you're just, it's not right now. It's not for you right now. It may mm -hmm. not be for you ever. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not personal to me. It's just, yeah. you came into my store, virtual yeah. store, and you said, I'm not really interested right now. And yeah, you know, whatever. So it, yeah. that becomes a little different. I'm sure in your business, you mm -hmm. get the Mm -hmm. The rejection factor, you have to learn how to work yeah. your mind through that. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because I will 100% agree with that, especially when you are when you own your own business. Yeah. Being able to separate personal yes. from business yeah. is probably yeah. the one of the most crucial parts in running a business because if you start taking everything personal, yeah. Yeah. it's go, you're going to focus on it. It's going to drain your energy. It's going to drain your vibe, and you're not going to be able to focus on the next chapter. Right. And you're I, and distracted I, by your yeah. self-pity. or whatever. Yeah. That's why you have to have a good community. That's mm -hmm. where I think you and I've connected mm -hmm. because you've got to be around people that are positive. That's yeah. the one thing I've loved about Arbonne. It's positive people all cheering yep. you on. It's that that's amazing. That's worth a cheering lot. you on. And right. I mean like not that, trying to pull you down. Yeah, yeah. Because when you're even especially if you're in the same business with somebody right. else, you want to make sure that they're you're supporting them, right. you're cheering them on, and vice versa. Because there's to enough me, for everybody. It's an yes. abundant thinking. The, yes. the size of the pie is not fixed. Correct. I always tell that to people. It's like it's they have fixed pie thinking, I call it, mm -hmm. right? They don't mm -hmm. think that the pie can be bigger. Yep. There's a lot of people with hair and skin that have a lot of yeah. nutritional needs. So I would cheer on anybody that wants to, you know, yes. join in. And I, I think all, you know, we always like to try to support all network marketing businesses mm -hmm. because it's a great way to get people in, in started in business, mm -hmm. low startup, high sweat equity. If you have a good work ethic, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that's huge. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and you join the community. We see people join for a lot of different reasons, right? Some people just need some extra income, which yep. you can definitely provide. Some people want that social part. Yeah. They want to be part of a community. They want yeah. that encouragement, right? Yeah. Some people have a higher purpose. They want to give back to yeah. a certain cause. So mm -hmm. it just, all people have different needs and that's our job is to, you know, mm -hmm. I think Arbonne meets a lot of those because mm -hmm. first of all, we like to say we turn in uh, expenses and income. Mm hmm because you're, you're using the products anyway. You're yeah. using something. Most yeah. people have a drawer. I hope you are anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Most people <laughs> wash be. their face, although I found that quite a few people don't. But, um, you know, mm -hmm. they have a whole drawer of things that don't work under their cabinet in their bathroom. Right? Yep. We don't want that. And I always tell yeah. people if you're not going to use it or if it doesn't work for you, don't buy it. Yeah. Right? It's got to be working for you. Mm -hmm. But if you can find something that works for you and you feel like, um, and, you know, we have a lot of customers. Not everybody, obviously, that uses Arbonne sells it, which mm -hmm. is okay, too. I yeah. love my customers. I have a very yeah. generous group of customers that continually order, which is a huge, big deal mm -hmm. in a network marketing type of business because the products go down the drain every day. Yeah. 
which yeah. means it's consumable, which means, you know, especially, you know, people use them and they reorder them on a high mm -hmm. frequency, mm -hmm. which is a brilliant plan. Mm -hmm. um, when people first start, they don't see that reorder right yeah. away, right? Yeah. So the first few months yeah. or even years, you don't start to see that mm -hmm. re that um, build up over time. I've been yeah. doing it 16 years. You see those reorders. People stay with you. It For an extended very, period of time. Absolutely. Yep. It yep. It's not the... Business. Yeah, it's not the immediate gratification. It's the long term. No, take the long term. Yep. Work. And then yep. the growth that you have, the people that you meet, mm -hmm. the, the speakers that you get involved with, um, mm -hmm. the exposure to all that is just it's invaluable. It helps you yeah. in all your other businesses that mm -hmm. you know that I'm involved in, my day job, and yeah, very helpful. So, yeah. yeah, I think the big the thing that I love seeing the most, especially for women, is when they start doing their own thing that they they find themselves either again or for the first time right. and they become this whole new version of themselves that. that they they love about it they love life they get up they enjoy it Absolutely. even if you're not getting the financial the finance side of things that you were maybe hoping for but if you find yourself i mean that alone is priceless Absolutely. and that's what i love like when i'm sitting here talking to women especially one on one because after having kids you do kind of lose yourself a little bit Absolutely. because your your attention goes elsewhere right. and then you feel guilty for focusing on you and doing something you know doing things for you instead of for the kids or buying yourself a, a nice outfit instead of for the kids and you start feeling this guilt right. and so what i find when women start going out on their own or doing their own thing they find themselves again or a new version of themselves and it's it's beautiful it really is Absolutely. and i know maybe that sounds cliche i don't know but um you can just tell when somebody's passionate Absolutely. like they their their energy yeah Absolutely. Well, yeah. I always tell people, um, people say, well, I have to, you know, in Arbon or any other business, you have to put time and effort into it. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. And people say, well, that's going to take time away from my family. I say, so does your day job. Mm -hmm. And I've worked this alongside my day job and I continue doing that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, lunches, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of opportunities that people are yeah. really wasting time that you don't even realize mm -hmm. you're doing that you can use to build a business over time. Yes. So 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, 15 minutes here. 30 minutes at night exactly. on Instagram, social, Facebook, when exactly. you're scrolling that, just focus on yes. this business. But I do tell people, and um, a lot of women do, or people, and there's men in Arbonne as well, but in all those other businesses, I don't wait to the end of my day when I'm out of energy to build my future, yeah. right? You've mm -hmm. got to find that part of the day where you have high energy and find a little bit of time to do it. Yep. You don't when is yours? Um, well, usually morning or lunch because mm -hmm. I'm a morning person. So if mm -hmm. I don't do it before I go to work, I do it at lunch hour because by the yeah. time I get home, I get into the kids' activities. I really don't want to be distracted. I no. didn't get into another business to be completely distracted from them. So yeah. But by the time I get to, you know, at night, I'm, mm -hmm. that's I'm not drained. the time to build your base. Yeah, I'm it's, drained. It's not Some... the time to focus on your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. So just think, you know, people yeah. think about that because they tend to. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, Wait. even if people are, because I hear it all the time, I'm not a morning person, but you can learn to be. Yeah, you really go can. To bed earlier. You go to bed a little earlier and you just we start have a sleep forcing. sleep spray too. Very natural. Not you have what? Problem. Sleep spray. Melatonin. Natural melatonin. Arbonne does. Oh, love it. oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, go. that's good to know. Sleep, you can't sleep longer with it. Won't it help you sleep longer because yeah. your alarm's going to go off? You'll sleep yeah. better. Yeah, so, okay. That's yeah. good to know. That's go. good to know. But yeah, even if you're not a morning person, you can train yourself to be a right. morning person. Sleep is a component of health, too. Mm -hmm. That's why we talk about, in our mind, we talk about it, right? It's That's mm -hmm. why you have energy. That's Because if you're tired, you'll overeat, all those things. Sleep yeah. is a huge component, people very often. Yep. Yes. My morning starts at 4 a.m. My yes. alarm goes off. I hit snooze once. So it's actually 4.10. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. But, have but a plan. It's yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's not eating into my family time um, right. because I just, I'm just i just getting up earlier. Right. You know, my kids are still young, so they go to bed a little bit later. I go to bed at 10 and I'm up by 4 and um, start my morning that way, reading. Right. It takes discipline to get up before. You have to discipline yourself A at lot night. of discipline. At night is when you have, well, it, yeah, the morning's... <laughs> I always tell people to shrink your night to get up before the morning, but uh -huh. you got to be disciplined to do that. You do. You yeah. do. And people that don't like discipline like to be average. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I think, yeah. You, I think you posted that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know. I post all sorts of – I don't even know what I say anymore. <laughs> Okay. But, um, yeah. okay, so you obviously have brought a few things. So tell us well, a little like, bit about what yeah. you got. I just wanted to show really quickly because I think it's really interesting that yeah. with an Arbonne, you know, we have a lot this of customers. Fizz drink. Yeah. We love our customers. That's a fizz it. drink. Mm -hmm. I don't think you really need more energy, so take it easy on that. <laughs> um, but – uh, that's just water and 13 mm -hmm. calories of a little powder. We mm -hmm. do no artificial anything. So no artificial nice. sweeteners. Okay. It's all um, very healthy product. So we, we, we pride ourselves on that. There's 2,000 ingredients we will not use in our products, mm -hmm. which there are very 
easy to find on any at the back of a lot of labels. So I always mm -hmm. tell people start thinking about what you're putting in and what you're paying for, and start mm -hmm. thinking about your your health because it's mm -hmm. seventy percent of how, what you look, how you look is what you eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have about 10, 15% is your genetics and 10, 15% is your workout. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when, when I, I absolutely agree with well, that. Well, and a lot of people don't like to hear that because, you know, you think, oh, that workout's really going to get mm -hmm. me. And I, I mean, while I, I love a good workout and I know you do too, that's mm -hmm. a lot for my mental stability. Yes. Um, so yeah, while it does mm -hmm. help you keep your posture and all those things, it's mm -hmm. really mental stability. So yeah. you know, got to think about what you're consuming yeah. and, you know, how you feel during the day. And like you said, energy at the end of the day is probably because of your, what you're eating. Yeah. So you got to still, I mean, yeah. and there's a natural, you got to be tired. But mm -hmm. so with an Arbonne business we have a lot of customer options which we mm -hmm. i have a website mm -hmm. um, you can go to arbon.com you can go to my facebook page um, instagram i also have, have um, created my own app so that's something ah. that i wouldn't have done you know had i not had my own business but i learned yeah. um i have a service that i've actually built my own app and i'd love to hire somebody you know to help me do that eventually yeah. but i built my own app learned how to do that um I call that water wings because okay. you, if you don't get out of the boat, you you know can't walk on water. But I find that people are either in that place of, um, and I love those people that are you know walking on water and they're doing their thing. But there's mm -hmm. a lot of people in between that and drowning, right? There's yeah. drowning and there's walking on water. And so water wings is just something that I started to kind of start talking about. My I do a lot of coaching of kids. I do yeah. volleyball. Yeah. Um, but you know how do you help people that are drowning? How do you help people that just need a little support? And mm -hmm. how do you help people that are walking on water? Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do in Arbonne. But I like to do that in life as well. But mm -hmm. um, you know my husband. I have four kids. I think mm -hmm. you you know that. Mm -hmm. um, our oldest just graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say that, yeah. And uh, also a Sunday school teacher. This last this last year? Yeah, just so, in May. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, just in May. So she wow. went to college in the fall. And then yeah. Caden, the one that I, when I was in maternity leave, got started with Arbonne. Yeah. Uh, he's 16 and Carly's 14. And then we lost our oldest daughter when she was 19 months old. Oh she gosh. was our oldest. Yeah. So oh my she, gosh, was oldest. So she was 19 sorry. months when she died. So May I ask how? Yeah, so she... Um, it was mostly that she, um, you know, she got sick and she just didn't feel very good at 19 months and she um 19 months yeah so she did yeah she just didn't make it uh yeah we found her praying with logan the day after her funeral so oh there's always gosh. you know like in every hardship but yeah. i you know i i have a lot of empathy for people that yeah. have had a lot of trouble and i always tell people you just got to get up and keep going yeah just have yeah. to keep, keep going so and i think Arbon has been a really positive thing for me you know i started mm -hmm. two years after Lindsay passed away but mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh so, my yeah. gosh. That's crazy. I'm very sorry to hear that. But no, yeah. I mean, so yeah, I mean, like you said, you, you, the world doesn't stop. You got to keep going no. and if you're, and you're going to keep going. So make something of it. You're still here right. for a reason. Right. I always you know? tell people the windshield's bigger than the rear view mirror because you're mm -hmm. not going that way. Mm -hmm. Right. The windshield's mm -hmm. where you're going. So you yep. got to think about, you know, and then not that the past is not important. And, you know, we obviously try to honor Lindsay as much as we can, but yeah. we're not, you know, she's, um, yeah. I heard one of your other podcasts you were talking about too, is I tell people all the time that, that's never going to really get better. People say, well, time will heal that. That's yeah. not going to get better. She's not here. But I tell people you're going to get stronger and you get yeah. better at dealing with it. Yeah. And that's really what you end up doing is growing mm -hmm. and trying to get better at dealing with it because it's yeah. going to be there forever. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. With yeah. Angel Lindsay. It, and then, yeah. yeah. So that Absolutely. that motivates me to help people too. I love doing mm -hmm. that. When I, um, I goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have, well, the bells at church are from yeah. Lindsay. So we really? have the bells play outside. Yeah. Um, she's up there. But yeah. So we, um, when I coach kids, I always tell them you've got to have fun, mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. have to do your best. Mm -hmm. um, you're either lin winning or learning. Yep. Right? That's a yep. big one. Yep. Um, and then I always tell them, do not, under any circumstance, ever spill my tea. I call that tea. <laughs> <laughs> under any circumstance. <laughs> I've actually looked that up. Are you running laps? I've licked, I've licked that up the floor one time because I went to a tournament. I didn't have any more. I was like, oh, God. Oh my God. I cannot <laughs> spill my tea. But they always remember That's the spill funny. my tea rule, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. So back to Arbon. So I always love yeah. that in, for $49, you know, you get this little envelope, which is yeah. kind of interesting. Like this is all uh -huh. you get. You get this little welcome letter. And I just brought it today because yeah. I just, for our conversation. But um, the founder of uh, Arbon, he has passed, but his motto was Arbon is a place where ordinary people do extraordinary things every day to enhance not only their own lives, but the lives of so many others. That mm -hmm. was his founding so you get the mission little, almost. It's the mission. Yeah. That is the, the still the mission mm -hmm. of Arbonne today. It's family owned. Mm -hmm. um, so you get this little welcome thing and this card and it's like own your life. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. Cool. yeah. And then it talks about, you know, just be welcome to the family. And yeah. I, I think that's so important because people mm -hmm. want to be part of something. Yeah. A community of, of some sort. Exactly. That was one of the biggest things. Like when you dropped off all that, that information, I actually read the back part of it. I wasn't <laughs> even going through the, um, the products at first. Cause I like to know the story Absolutely. and how things get started and where they got started and where they at, where they're at, how far they've come. So I actually read the back 
of all of it first nice. um, before even looking at the products and seeing how many pro how much product you guys even offer. Right. Which is which you wouldn't know. Yeah, which is fantastic. I and can't bring an, that many samples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can only bring what I can carry. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, so yeah. if somebody is interested in trying Arbon yeah. or even being a dis distributor, right. do you do you call them distributors? Yep, independent. Okay, consultants. independent yeah. consultants. We try to consult um, and be helpful. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's exactly right. right. So I guess if they're interested in testing out these products. Um, I, I love your fizz drinks. They're fantastic. I use it every day once or twice because nice. I'm not supposed to exceed the limit of three. Right, you can, I only yeah. do two. <laughs> um, but no, I, I do love the, um, I love those cause I don't drink coffee. So, right. um, I and I don't need to get up and have this burst of energy from coffee because for me, yeah. I just have a crash later on. So this is just is something to help me sustain my energy. Just makes me feel it's it's light too. Right. That's what I like about right. it. I don't just, like anything too heavy. No, and it's water, mm -hmm. so it helps you with more water. Mm -hmm. more yeah, water. exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, um, but that's like you said. You know, when you're when you're when you get home at night and you're just drained. I mean, obviously, some things for work can can play a role in that. But ultimately, it comes down to what you eat and what you put into your body. Because right. I know that if I eat like crap in a day, I'm going to be more drained that evening. Absolutely. So. Eating a light lunch, having these light drinks just makes my energy so much easier and better. So what do you, what comes in that package then? Well, that's it. Oh, that's so it. We oh. have $49. So you get a, you get a full website though. Okay. A lot oh, of okay. Social side, but I, you know, it's still good $49. You're just stepping into mm -hmm. you know whatever you want to make it. Yeah, and, and you have guidance too. That's the nice part. Structure guidance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get a team of people really around the country and around the world. We have yeah. consultants and we help each other. So yeah, yeah, it's it is a little scary, but it's forty nine dollars mm -hmm. and it's yeah. Mm -hmm. I always tell people start try some products, see what yeah. you think. Um, yeah, and then you can go from there. So yeah, if yep. people want to get a hold of me, that my phone number is um, on my website. You can you can say it here. I so if, so if they're too. listening, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, it's four zero two nine one zero two four zero zero. Okay. I have a website, um, Arbon. You just put in my name, Recouples Arbon dot com. Okay. Um, and then my app, Water Wings. I have a That's whole awesome. bunch of training and resources for people. Is it there. already going? It's up. Oh, it is. Yep. Okay. So yeah, it has some Arbon. It has protein recipes. I get a lot of people that, on my protein that want nice. you know, recipes, protein yeah. balls. Um, I do some coaching tips on there. So yeah, yeah. It's, oh, fun. It's in progress. Like I always yeah. tell, it's 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 oh, not yeah. progress, not perfection. Yep. A lot of people are perfectionists. Like yep. about even about life. Um, yep. It's it's about progress. It's yep. not about perfection. So yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I tell my kids practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes progress because exactly. you're never going to be perfect. Exactly. And, or I don't even know what perfect technically truly means, you know, because my kids might seem perfect to me. <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, they're not, but, uh, yeah. but yeah, I mean, there's nothing, there's no such thing in my opinion as true perfection. So nope. practice not, makes not, progress. No, not if you're always on the journey. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what is one piece of advice that you have heard or come across that has helped you in your professional career? Yeah. So I have a lot of them, but I mean, the one that I'll talk about, cause it kind of ties personal, professional and, mm -hmm. and everything in my businesses is that you're not defined by your setbacks. You're defined by your comebacks. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. You yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're not defined by your setbacks. You're defined by your comebacks. That's right. Okay. Never give up, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. I like that. I like that quote. That's one that I don't think I've actually heard. There you go. New so, one for you today. Well, cool. I listened to your podcast, so I, yeah. I didn't want to repeat one you already heard. So. <laughs> no, I don't think I had. Podcast. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. You yeah. You I appreciate that. So, no, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. coming thank in. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Absolutely. It. So, if anybody is interested in getting on the podcast, uh, please reach out to Matt at Matt, Matt at getverly.com. And Verly is V R L Y. Follow along, subscribe so you can kind of hear the upcoming podcast. We released it every Wednesday, I believe is when it is. And it's on um, at Apple, Spotify, all sorts of different places. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please reach out. We'd love to have you. And again, Marie, thank you so much for being here. So thanks for having me. Yeah.